Hello, I'm Stone LeBrandy, lead designer of the new SimCity, and I want to give you another peek at what we've been up to here at the studio. When we last left off, I showed you the basic steps of building a new city. Since then, the team has been hard at work on the game, and I've created a new casino city so that I can show you some of the advanced strategies of multi-city play. My city's doing great. I have several casinos, and they're all filled with tourists. You can see them walking up and down the streets, looking for places to gamble. I can see how I'm doing financially by checking out my profit and loss at my casino headquarters. You can easily see that I'm making lots of money. This is also where I can check out how my casino empire is doing compared to every other player. Hmm, looks like I'm not doing as good as I thought. It's time to upgrade my casinos. Like most of the buildings in SimCity, I can click the edit button to see the different upgrade options. I have several choices and each one provides me with a different benefit. This celebrity stage will lure more sims through the door. Adding more gaming rooms, like this poker parlor, will increase my take from each gambler. Those are both good options, but I'm going to go with a hotel. If I want to get to the top of the casino leaderboard, I want the sims spending their money at my casino instead of other places in the city. And as long as the beds are here, they won't have any reason to leave. Uh-oh, it looks like my city just blew a fuse. I've been relying on my wind farm to power all of these buildings, and now the system is completely overloaded. Wind power is clean and cheap, and I could expand it, but I'd rather use that space to build more casinos later on. I could also bulldoze it and replace it with a coal power plant, but I don't really want all that air pollution in my city. Fortunately, there is another option. Out in the region, there's plenty of room to expand. Each one of these squares is a place where a new city could start. I can claim a few for myself, claim them all, or I can invite some friends in to join me. Right now, I'm going to claim this spot for myself. This will be a perfect place to build a power plant where the tourists won't even see it. The first thing I have to do is to create a road in my new city that connects to the region highway. There are several different power options to choose from. This nuclear power plant is attractive, but it costs way too much. I could transfer money from my other city over to this one, but I'd rather spend that money to grow my casino empire. So a new coal power plant is a better option for me, since it's a lot cheaper. Although it's dirty, It'll take a long time for any pollution to drift over into my casino city. One of the cool things about multi-city play is that the sims are going to drive back and forth between the cities. You can already see some commuters from my casino city making their way over here to work in my coal plant. I'm going to turn on the power data layer. Okay, the power is on and flowing nicely. If I go back up to region view, I can turn on the data layer here and see which resources are being shared between the cities. Yep. Power is being sent from my coal power plant over to my casino city. Nice! Dan is online and he wants to join in. If I invite him into my region, then he can play in any unclaimed city that he wants. I'm going to abandon my coal power city and let him take charge of it so that I can focus on my casino city. Dan can decide what kind of city he wants to build. Okay, now let's go back to my casino city. Alright, the power is back on and my casinos are making money again. Some of that money is going straight to Dan to pay for this power. Dan can use the money to build out his city, so we're both going to benefit from the deal. One of the problems with casinos, they attract a lot of criminals. I can easily see there's a problem because of all this graffiti on these buildings. If I want to see some more detailed information, I can turn on the crime data layer. Whoa, this is worse than I thought. These big red blobs, they show me all the recent crime activity. My one little police station can't keep up with all this crime. If I don't take care of this problem soon, the criminals will cross the border into Dan City and cause trouble there too. I think I'm gonna need a larger police station. I could place it out here on the edge of the city, but it's best to keep it closer to the casinos, near the worst crime zones. Since Dan is sending me plenty of power, I'm not gonna be needing this wind farm anymore. I'm just gonna bulldoze it and make some more room. All right, here we go. This police precinct has a lot of options. I'm going to start with this radio tower here to help the police respond quicker. Then I'm going to add this helicopter to increase the patrol radius. This is all really expensive to maintain, but it's going to make a big difference by suppressing crime in a large area. The police will also travel to neighboring cities and patrol there too. Aw, oh, this is great. Dan just finished building a fire station. That's going to be helpful, since I never bothered to build one of my own. Multi-city play means that his fire trucks will come to the rescue if there's ever a fire in my city. Hmm, I think I'm going to test this out. You know, it wouldn't be SimCity without the disasters. 
I've chosen to turn off random disasters in my casino city, but I still have the option to trigger them at will. If you're like me, destroying a city can be as much fun as building it. Let's see if this will start a fire. All right, here they come now. Looks like Dan's fire trucks are gonna have a lot of work to do. Multi-city play makes playing SimCity more fun and strategic than ever before, as cities in a region get to work together and solve each other's problems. And taking it a step further, you can even work outside of the cities and cooperate to build great works out in the region. I'm gonna ask Dan to help me build a space launch center over here, but we'll do that in the next video. Thanks for watching.